Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Richard Retty and Henrik Wolf. This absolutely amazing chess game was played in 1922. Richard Retty had white pieces and he started with d4. Henrik Wolf played d5, c4, the queen's gambit, e6 declined, knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, bishop to e7 and pinning, e3, castling, knight to f3, knight from b to d7, rook to c1, c6, queen to c2, all the standard moves, a6, white to move. In this position, Richard Retty played c5, and he was later criticized for this move. Critics said that with this move, white is releasing the pressure on the pawn on d5. Can black take an advantage of that? Henrik Wolf played e5. d takes on e5. Knight to g4. It is white to move, and this is the critical moment. Richard Retty played bishop takes on e7. Bishop to f4 should have been considered, and one line goes like this. Knight takes on c5, h3, and the knight must go to h6. Then bishop takes on h6, pawn takes bishop, and the pawn structure around the black king is damaged. Perhaps critics would not criticize c5, pawn push then. Back to our game. Bishop takes on e7 was played, queen takes on e7, knight to a4, defending the pawn on c5, but neglecting the development. Rook to e8, bishop to d3, h6, it is white to move, and this is another critical moment. Knight to d4 was played, let's take it back. e6 should have been considered. And after queen takes on e6, kicking the knight back, and after knight from g to e5, then knight to d4. And white is okay. Back to our game. Knight to d4 was played. Knight from d takes on e5. White to move. Perhaps castling should have been considered. Instead, Reti played a knight to b6, attacking the rook. What is the best square for the rook? What would you do? This is now the most interesting moment of the game. Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Henrik Wolf played this amazing move. Knight takes on f2. Kaboom! This is a killer move. With this move, black is removing the defender of the pawn on a3. Why to move? Richard Retty was in shock. He tried to keep his calm by banging his head against the wall. Just kidding. After considering different options, he played bishop to h7 check. Let's take it back. If queen takes on f2, then a knight takes on d3, check, winning the queen. And what else? If king takes on f2, then knight to g4, check, and everything is losing. If king to g1, then queen takes on e3, check, king to f1, queen takes on d4. Black is winning. Back to our game. Bishop to h7, check, saving the bishop. King to h8, white to move. Richard that he castled king's side. He considered knight takes rook, but then he didn't like knight takes rook on h1. So he castled while he can. Knight from f to g4. Knight takes rook, knight takes on e3. Queen to e2, knight takes on f1. Bishop to b1, saving the bishop. The knight 
can't escape. Or maybe it can. How the knight can escape? Wolf played, knight takes on h2. Knight to b6. What happens if king takes knight? If king takes on h2, then knight to g4 is slightly unpleasant. It's check and after the king moves, queen takes queen and black is winning. Back to our game. Knight to b6 saving the knight, black to move. How would you continue now? Perhaps some players would play knight from h to g4. But the wolf was inspired like never before. He played knight from e to f3 check. This is amazing chess, isn't it? Pawn takes knight, queen to g5 check, forking the king and the rook on c1. King takes knight, and now not queen takes rook. There is a better move, and that is rook takes queen. We need to check. It is all finished. What follows next is the cleanup operation. Knight takes on e2, queen to e5 check. Knight to g3, queen takes on b2 check, rook to c2. Queen takes on b1, rook to e2, bishop to e6, f4, g6, knight to a8, h5, knight to c7, h4, knight to h1, queen to d3, rook to f2, black played a move and white resigned and the move is bishop to f5, ready, resigned. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line so you can see how the queen and the bishop work together. Let's play a random move for white, perhaps he wants to bring the knight in the game. Knight to e8, queen to h3 check, king to g1, bishop to e4, rook to h2, queen to e3 check, rook to f2, bishop takes knight, knight to d6, bishop to f3, knight takes on f7 check, king to g7, knight to g5, queen to e1 check, rook to f1, white to move and to check, mate in one and the move is queen to g3 check. Mate. Wow, what a brilliant game by Henrik Wolf. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.